Hi, I'm David Fries, and this is part of our mediation series. In this series, we answer your questions about the mediation of very serious trust, estate, probate claims, and claims regarding the disputes in family businesses. Why do people do mediation is a question that we frequently get from clients who are savvy and in the know. There are a number of reasons that families mediate these kind of disputes. One, the litigation among family members of disputes regarding wills, trusts, and estates or family businesses can be very, very time consuming and expensive. In many cases, families could spend tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars to millions of dollars in costs and expenses of litigation, not to mention the effect that this can have on the family. So families mediate claims in order to avoid that lengthy and time consuming and expensive process and to try to keep family relationships intact. We're going to talk a little bit about who should be the mediator, but mediation is typically a non-binding attempt to resolve these family disputes before they go to arbitration or mediation. Typically, a mediation is conducted by a, a savvy and intelligent mediator trained in the art and science of mediation, which is getting people to come together, recognize the advantages of settling the claim, and settling the claim before it goes to litigation. For more information, come and watch our entire series on this at www.utbf.com mediation or paestateplanners.com. Search for mediation. Lots more for you.